Gabriel, I'm going to show you how to do dentals on a Horos. So my Horos, this is what the uh, app looks like. It's a uh, blue icon down here at the bottom of my screen. And if I want to import a study from DICOM, I'm going to use this import and then choose the file. but we get cases here. I have a uh, dental scan here. Double click. So this is just only the axial view, but we go to 3D viewer and we go to volume or MIP Volume is color, MIP is uh, black and white only. These are my tools. If I want to change it, I can change it with these, um, with these, with these. C LUTs. It's a uh, color lookup table, so it changes how it is viewed in the colors. So I can just only do bones for dentistry. I can choose this icon, and I can hold left click and go sideways, or I can go up and down, holding my left click. I want to make it bigger, use the magnifying glass here, hold left click and then move up or down with your mouse. I want to move the 3D image. I click this cube, left click hold and then rotate just pulling your mouse across the screen or pushing it up. And sometimes you have to do circles to make it straight. Now I want to crop half of the skull and go into the crop with the cube with the green spheres. Each green sphere is one side or the top or the bottom. Half of the skull goes away here. Because I'm left click, holding left click and moving, let go. Press this one more time to make it go away. Now we can turn it and see different directions. This is how you use Horos for dentistry, for 3D. I can also choose multiplanar reconstruction. And this is the basically the 2D but three different um, three different views in 2D you're familiar with this see all this bone loss here that's how this works I hope this helps you Download Horos from the App Store on your MacBook. It's free. It does not cost money.